Hello, my beautiful people. Now we, the Nation Voice, we don't come again with another issues when it be say it still happen for our country because you know we relent until we see things turn for good. And today we get all this video when it be say I just want reveal to now for the things when it be say it they happen right now for our country, the place where you today when it be say that they wait for government make it fight for them and inside that place neither they fight themselves they defy themselves in the name of say they be caught is why before their very eyes say fulani the herdsmen they, they take over their territory i beg in case now the first time we they hear about us for this channel be this one make you not forget to help us subscribe and uh, the, that small bell when they near and me see hit and so that anytime we will take upload new video again like this you know with the search so far to the loop for them again it will come to you like a message. And our prayer be say, anything where you put your hands to do, the same way when God with the same people, where would they help you? In Jesus' name, amen. Just watch this video. I'll come back with the rest of my comments. My chest will feel like yes, man. When they carry for that place now, it passed 200. They don't block road. Nobody will help us. Nobody we are here. We are here. It's six o'clock. Nobody will pass. And then they say, no police will even pass there. Police have no fee talk. Police no fee pass there. Eh? Police no fee pass. So they are no fee pass. Eh? We are sorry that we are here. 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 It's six o'clock. We are here. Feel like next man. Don't keep people here. They don't keep villagers here now. We are in trouble. Nobody feel pass. So. They don't keep the villagers here now. So now we are here since 6 o'clock. We know if you pass, no food. The sea is too much, my brother. It's too much. It's too much. We are here since 6 o'clock. No food, nothing, nothing. No food. We need help. We need help. We need help. We need help. May they help us. So. Look at people here now. Look at this. Eh? They just carry about two bodies. Uh, Call pass here now. Eh? Too much hurry. So we are, we, are, we, are, we are in trouble here. Eh? We don't know what to do now. Nigeria, you should come and help us. I never eat this money. I don't get what do I do? After all, after all in the emergency, we need them. Ibogi, Ibogi, emergency. We need them. Be near the road. After Okada, after Okada, at Ibogi village in Edo State. Men are help us. So see everybody here. See six o'clock. Full of nurse men don't keep people here. They don't keep the villagers. Now, full of nurse men, they see hang around. They don't say bush. They say nobody free pass. Full and there's my day side bush now. They say nobody should pass. So we know if you pass. Even soldier, no if you pass. Police, no if you pass. We are here. We need help. Oh. We need help. Come and help us. So what come and help us? So it's six o'clock. We are here. No food, no water. No food, no water. Oh. No food, oh. no water. Oh. No food. That should come and help us. So I beg you. Oh. Help. We need help. 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 Children, they are here. Small, small children, they are here. That should help us. Oh. Right, they should come and help us, United Nations, they should come and help us, so please, so. we are in war now, silent war in Nigeria, silent kill in Nigeria, they don't kill us, finish for Nigeria. Shame upon Nigeria youth, shame upon Una, most especially this very man, when he record this news, so. you they cry, say you they hungry, you, you they here, you they here, they they kill you, you they there, shame upon Una. Now people like Una, now boys like Una, now block Rosso. Youth like Una. As Una many reach for that place, so as Una many reach, say Una go outside, carry, still go outside, go carry weapon. Face these people. Tell them say whether they not will come up for that road. Una gather for there, they cry, who who you they wait for me to come help you? Government. Who be the federal government? Now still they say Fulani people. Who you they wait for? If you wait, the Una go die one by one. Una never know what you don't put on hand. Now inside this place now, now una they organize una self, say una they fight for supremacy or in the name of courts. Eh? People they want to be say they leave their own state as far as um, uh, Makode or uh, any place where you say if you call them. So not even be Nigerians. They come, come they occupy your territory. You dead here, they open your mind, mouths. Are they hungry? We want to die. We are here. Where nobody can rescue us. You, 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 you not be joke. You not know what to be joke. Make you not wait. Wait for, for so Jamie to come rescue you. 
before na very eye there, before you reach us, maybe they will announce you about your mama or your sister. Make you not wake up to a responsibility. Nobody will rescue Nigeria youth except the youth stand up for their responsibility. Now, so we always be talking. We not say na joke. This one I just starting at the beginning. I be this one. Make all of you wait. Make you wait. Wait for DSS. Me make on rescue now. Wait for army. Make on rescue now. I been a navy. Now I want to rescue now. Make you wait. Order never come from Abuja. At the Abuja, when the other one for come, so now there their own couple day. Their own master now there he day. We are never serious. Open your mouth there. They cry. Nonsense. I never know. We are not wait. We 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 call for our responsibility. For inside all of these things, when they be say they happen for inside our country, so Nan lie him Mohammed, lie him Mohammed, open him and say, Nan Nigeria be the most freest country, the only country when it be say, if free pass, may anybody will feel live for inside this very world. Watch this very video where lie Mohammed open that in mouth, he got her, they talk, waiting, they talk. Watch this video. It's free information to be to witness this particular, uh, you know, um, Got the visit. Um, my understanding of the Freedom Online Coalition is that is what I say is a is a coalition of a body of countries like-minded and whose um, objective is actually human rights, privacy, security, and trust. And um, this, as of today, there are about 31 members, only three so far from Africa. That's Kia, I think Kia, Ghana, and I think uh, Tunisia. Um, I don't know what yastic was used to describe Nigeria as not a like-minded uh, country. I think the ambassador will have to explain to us. Um, but when I look at the objectives of the FOC, I think uh, you've come to preach to the converted already. Uh, when it comes to innovation, uh, this administration, and I'm glad that uh, the ambassador has also confirmed that when it comes to innovation, Nigeria is probably the African hub for innovation. And this is not by accident. This is one because we have a, 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 a we have a pool of very young, talented, and ambitious uh, young people in Nigeria. And I think as recently as um, three months ago. In Dubai, uh, the in Nigerians came first in the area of innovation. Uh, and we intend to push this because when you look at um, the creative industry in particular, which is the fastest growing part of the economy and which employs the second largest number of people after agriculture, you can see why innovation and technology is very important to this administration. And, uh, we have put together legislation and other incentives to encourage young men and women uh, in the inno in innovative uh, technology. Now, um, I know that um, the ambassador said, whatever is not tolerated you know, offline should not be tolerated online. And that's why the issue of human rights have come. I think um, for us in Nigeria, human rights, respect for human rights, is a cardinal principle of not just our constitution, but of day-to-day -day governance. And I'm yet to see any country with the kind of population we have, with the kind of multi-values, multi-culture, multi-religion, that has at the same time striving you know, striving to balance you know national security with 
freedom of the press and freedom of the media. I, I make bold to say that this administration in particular has no intention and has, does not tamper with the freedom of speech or freedom of individuals. But more often than not, we do confuse activists and politicians. We confuse them with journalists. And this is the point we made everywhere we went, that there's a difference between journalists and activists. And at the same time, every country in the world, the first preoccupation of that country is the preservation of the people. So yes, once in a while there might be need to draw that there might be that bal very, de very delicate balance between national security and the freedom of the press or the freedom of the individual. But I may both to say that it's one of the freest one one of the freest country to live in the world. Um I know you spoke about the freedom and human rights. Yes, it is true that um, we, especially in this ministry, we've watched with some trepidation the social media front. And we've seen how some people have tried to abuse the new technology to cause disaffection, especially pushing fake news and hate speech. In a country where you have many religions, many ethnicities, many ethnic groups, many values, the government cannot fold its arms and see some, unguided, some you know, unguided individuals trying to take advantage of the, um, the, uh, of the differences in values to cause this harmony. And this is why this ministry in particular decided that it is important to sanitize the social media you know, um, scene. Sanitization does not necessarily mean legislation, and it does not mean by any imagination stifling of the press or the media. No, we are going to have a media. We are going to have a media as free as anywhere in the world, but we are going to must have a responsibly free media, and that's our goal. Hate speech, fake news, disinformation have done more to destabilize the globe than any plague in recent times. And a good, the examples abound within Nigeria and outside Nigeria. Outside Nigeria, the classic case is the Rwanda genocide, where over 800,000 lives were lost within a short period, just through hate speech, false news, fake news, and disinformation. So our attempt to sanitize that particular, that the social media is not at all any, an attempt to stifle the media. I want to make this very clear. If we want to stifle the, the media, we want to you know, violate anybody's human rights. We're not going to call the same stakeholders, human rights, media, to, to a roundtable conference on how do we go about sanitizing to social media. Because as we speak today, we'll be meeting later in the month with leaders of the media, civil society, security, and other stakeholders on how do we sanitize our social media? How do we make our social media safe for all? How do we ensure that people do not weaponize the social media to cause, you know, disharmony in, you know, in, in the country? So 
that is all that is about a social media regulation. It's not about stifling the media. It's not about, you know, about anybody's human rights. But it's our own response to irresponsible social media. And we're not alone in this. I know that France, I know that the UK, I know um, Pakistan, um, um, China, Japan, all have, in one way or the other, tried to regulate the social media without necessarily tampering with the freedom of the uh, of, of any individual or the the media and just like a parliamentarian said in in france he says whatever is not tolerated on the streets should not be tolerated online which is the reverse of uh, what uh, the ambassadors spoke about human rights so we are very concerned we are very committed about sanitizing the um, the, uh, the the social media. Now, I said at the beginning of this um, address that you have come actually to preach to the converted because just before we came in, in our private meeting, you expressed the fears of exactly what the world is going through through disinformation, fake news, and hate speech. And I want to see, I want to say here that long before it became popular. This administration, using this ministry, started fighting hate speech and fake news. We started in 2017, and we devoted an entire national conference on information to address the issue of hate speech because we saw it very early that it is probably the biggest threat the unity of this country will face. We've also, since 2018, launch a national campaign on fake news by going to various news organizations, media houses, and signing them on to join us in our fight against uh, fake news. And interestingly enough, uh, when I was discussing with the Ambassador for Innovation, he says another aspect which bothers you know, um, uh, the, the, front, uh, the, the Freedom Online uh, Coalition is the deliberate denial online about the existence of climate change. And I say that is strange to us here because we are the victims of climate change. But the victims of climate change, not just because it affects you know, our environment, but it affects not just the environment, it affects our economy. It affects the peace and stability of the country. It affects social interaction. You look at the Lake Chad, about 50 years ago, it covered 25,000 square kilometers and supported livelihood in seven countries, Central African Republic, Nigeria, Niger, Chad, Cameroon, Benin Republic, and so on. But today, the same Lake Chad has shrunk by 90%. And that means that all those about 20 to about 50 million lives that were dependent on the Lake Chad now have to look elsewhere for sustenance. And part of the conflict we witnessed in Nigeria which was Hessman, Farmer's Clash, was directly also traceable to the dwindling water level in the Lake Chad. Because it meant then that those pastoralists that, you know, depended on the Lake Chad to, uh, to, 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 to rear uh, the, 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 their cattle had to move elsewhere in south and in the, in, 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 in the process there were this conflict so when i see this very man they put this kind of person for information minister tell me what thing would everybody they expect person when you will feel open the eye kuru kuru like this they lie you put them for information minister make it they give you information liar for information minister make somebody help me ask 
this lie Mohammed say, whether this very something, what would they see so? Whether not fake news. These people, they live waiting, they're supposed to defy. They say, now people, when, it, when, it, when did they bring the information, when it consigned, waiting, they consign, waiting, they happen for inside the country, now they fight, now they run after. Now they run after. They, they go from up and down. They search for everywhere. When they say they will fit a shot, the mouth of the masses. They live what they're supposed to fight. This one and a fake news. I beg, may somebody help me share this message. Make it reach this lying Mohammed. If not for reach him, any agent, when he be say he don't set for his internet, when they give the information, make he see this one, whether this one are fake news. This one are stage manage. Now so that they talk and they say na stage manage. Eh? Make somebody help me ask this man. Okay. People come up for, you say, because of saying na climate change, now he make the people, when they say it's supposed to be day charge, that they do their thing because they don't see grass, they feed their animal. That is why they day everywhere. Oh, you know, comfy ask them. They day everywhere, now it be the problem. Now I be, now the way when they think they keep people now. For the one who do out watch now, now animal that they feed just now, now I be now people that they attack. If you the person when you be say you mean well for your own country or your own citizen, when you be say uh, he let you for that position where you did so, you did there to serve. You know, you know, you know they concerned about their life. You know they concerned about their 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 their, 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 their property and their uh, and their family. My people. I won't leave Unana because the way when I tell the talk, I know say we don't spend a lot of time concerning this video. So make Unasi share Una opinion with me. Make Una help me share this message. Make it reach this line, Mohammed. Make for tell us whether this one are fake news or this one are stage manage. Now only waiting I get to talk concerning this video be this one. As you do so, God will continue to bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. I would like to hang our boat here now. We will see you again when we see you. Remember, we love you all. Bye-bye.